Hello everybody, I'm Dunhamer from Dunhamer Gaming Channel and welcome back to Kaiserite where today we are playing as Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Now, I have progressed through, you know, half of the, the first year because I wanted to just form the Commonwealth before we actually started doing anything. So basically I started off as Poland and then went through the whole great debate thing. Then Lithuania proposed that we... Uh, made by the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, and then you accept, and then ta-da, you get to this point. So now that we've done that, oh yes, we we are in the German faction as well right now, and we will be staying, we will be sticking with Germany at this point. Because we can't do that, and yeah, we, we don't want to leave, really. So we'll start off with that. <coughs> Only take seven days. And we'll have to select the Prime Minister. So not, not too much has happened really, just the usual kind of, you know, beginning game kind of things happened. No, Mendog has is the only one that can vote, because we're going to stay as a as a, we still need German protection. No, we still need German protection, and we're going to go for the school of fire support. And as for this, um, we are going to go for PM. I think PM. Yeah, the PM. Right, so that gets rid of the effects of Black Friday. We need to get rid of that. And Bla Black Friday, I mean the uh, Black Monday. I'm going to go for a new capital. What we'll do is we'll get rid of the effects of Black uh, Monday first. Now I'm going to do up the Polish infrastructure because I like steel more than the the oil. And we've got some more divisions there. It's up 25, but I'm actually going to go ahead and just bin one of them. Now, I am going to go to war with the Austrians as soon as I can. Because I don't know if they'll just give me Galicia for free, so... We're probably going to have to take it from them. That was the wrong template. It's that one I want. Um, we also have, like, we can get these two bits of white Rufina as well, but they have to do a referendum. So, I'll most likely say no to that. We do have some negative effects other than the, well, national spirits, other than the effects of Black Monday. And that's overwhelmed bureaucracy and cultural tensions and both of them are sorted by going down 140 days to solve both of them like just there they are there just have to do a new capital uh, we'll be bilingual we'll be integrating the two armies so we just need one of the fallen, that's not too bad. So we'll go for international railways. I'm, I'm actually hoping that Austria says no to me and I can hopefully just take them out. All of that land for me. I mean, again, if they just give me Galicia, that's fine. More time to build up. Right now, we're actually not doing too badly for equipment. We should have them exercising, really. They need to be anyways, because half of them are uh, only on green, which is giving them a minus 25% modifier to, to them. Now, I think I did just note... Yeah, Syndicalist. I thought they were going Syndicalist. 
Charles Curtis has been elected. Um, we have this guy in charge of France, and this guy is in charge of um, Socialist Republic of Italy, and Mosley's in charge of the Union of Britain. Yeah, we need to get rid of the, the effects of black money because the construction speed's down by 50%, which is absolutely appalling. It's going to take us till March to finish that factory. Great, we're back to very low stability. Fantastic. And great, we've lost even more. Um, luckily for us, we do get some... We do get some political power from the focus tree. It's got radio. And we've almost got enough to put... Okay, fantastic achievement. That's given us some political power back. How many artillery pieces are we short? Yeah, that's a lot of days to sort that out. It makes sense to go for German. Wait a second. Great. Yeah, I got no no factories. Fantastic. That's just great, isn't it? Just great. Just great. So there's no point doing that right now. I might as well focus on getting the new capital set up. And doing the bureaucracy, dealing with that issue, overwhelm bureaucracy, deal with that. Syndicalist, the fate of the monarchy, alright that's going to get rid of them. No, oh, Romanian Civil War, and there's the American Civil War as well. And democracy has prevailed in the Philippines. And Serbia's crowned. Oh, okay, but he's actually a social conservative this time. We're gonna go for Lublin, the original, the original capital, uh, capital city of the uh, Commonwealth. So that oh, it also reduces. I didn't realize I actually had the um, consumer goods. Which is also, yeah, that's that's good. That's thirty percent <laughs> consumer goods. No wonder we got none. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, this is interesting. Well, um, it's a shame none of them have any divisions like, but oh well. We lose a field marshal. He was actually a pretty good field marshal. Oh, the United Baltic Duchies in a, a bit of a predicament here. Estonia and Latvia. Probably gonna, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Um. Okay. Right, they went syndicalist, but then they've not went syndicalist now. They're back to well, they're social democrats now. Okay. Austria's probably just going to annex all them now, so we'll have to go with war with Austria now. Oh well, I'm fine with that. And let's read. Let's redefine the territories. Mend the social rift. Foundation of the Belgrade Pact. And there's the Spanish Civil War. No, I can't even send them volunteers either. Okay. 
Russian Republic. Make a call catch direction. Oh! Syndicalist. The Bolsheviks are here. So they could restore the, uh, the Soviet Union. Polish voice knows no bounds. Right. Um, common currency. What do I want to do now? Do I get rid of the Black Monday? Don't really need that now. So we can still do that even though Austria has it now under their control. Let's get rid of the cultural tensions. Then we'll go for the Black Monday. Then that leaves us with just good national spirits. We're almost back to normal. Oh, we are. Didn't even notice that. Good. We're doing equipment wise. We've got enough guns now, which is good. That's not a thousand days away. I should be able to get. Yeah, we'll get some tungsten. Uh, steel and some tungsten. What I might do actually is I might actually just wait until my divisions can be 40 combat with. And there's going to be a lot more equipment than what I've got right now. I'm going to get some national unity for that. Totalists in the Batari co Baratia commune. I want to say Bat Baratia. We don't need this. I'm not going to accept that now. Oh. I didn't realize it was that low. Reinstitute the Warsaw Confederation. It's going to give us 15%, and it's going to take away this. So we're going to get 30% here. So we're going to be up to. Well, we'll see. Oh, Qing has taken the Shang, Shang Qing. Looks like Aog actually joined in as well. And we'll look Mongolia into better at war with Maklik as usual. And Armenia is about to get destroyed. They're actually doing much better than I thought they were going to do. Yeah, the Soviet threat, not really an issue right now. Technically. Since the Bolsheviks are already in charge. I want to get up to partial mobilization as quickly as possible as well. Mm, I'd send volunteers, but I have a funny feeling by the time we get there, it'd actually be over. Jeez. What I'm going to do is switch that up to a day, so that's going to. 743 days. Jeez. Okay, Hungary. Okay. Right. That's pretty decent, but we're not needing that right now. What we'll do is we'll go over here, get rid of the Black Monday effects. Land Doctrine, Superior Firepower, I think. United States is saying a peace treaty with someone. It must have been Mexico. Definitely was. And Armenia was annexed. Aren't they going to be repuppeted, possibly? Oh, well, Curtis didn't do a good job of avoiding the Civil War this time, did he? And Romania is gone. At least we're back up to average stability, which is good. So we have four civilian factories now. Fantastic. Well, the Austrian sphere is about to be uh, created here.
That's still going to take like, oh jeez, a year and a half. Oh, my cleat's been annexed. <coughs> well, let's get improved machine tools. Let's Germany up to Easter promises. Bulgaria declared war in Serbia. So that's them at war with the Belgrade Pact. Are the Ottomans going to join in? They usually do. Well, the last couple of playthroughs they've done that. And Russia's taken the Donkavan Union. No surprise there. Is this the destruction technology? Right. Um, yeah, I feel like we should do this just so we can actually just get a very high popularity. Because right now we've only got low popularity. And what we should probably do as well is do that and do this. As well as there's a factories over here. There's some civilian factories, more civilian. We should probably do both of these. So that's what five. And then I can get the uh, research slot. And we should probably go for the steel as well. And I should probably get that done out of the way very quickly. I think we're going to go for an impenetrable defence rather than mobile army. We do get these regardless of which side we go, but I feel like the forts would be good. Never surrender. Just because I'm going for uh, Max Entrenchment and everything. So I'm not going to go really be going for this. That would be great there, the extended supply lines. And division speed, obviously, that's, that's 20%, no, 15% there. But the defence on core territory is plus 10. I, oh, someone's already just fine on us again. Iron Guard Romania. Nationalising the oil industry. Luckily, we're not a puppet, so we don't have to join any of Germany's wars. We can just let them do whatever the hell they want. That's... Yeah, we'll go for that. We'll keep going this way. The Greater Austrian Empire. Right, what side of the tree have they went for? Alright, oh, they went for military occupation. The Italian question. Okay. We'll see what they do. Nationalist victory in South Africa. When was the last time that happened? Can't remember. They're going to have a civil war regardless. Are they still in the disaster? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, they're not in a good state right now. Really not in a good state. Really not. It's better to form Belgium, really. Because then you get some land as well. You get the uh, German will own you. And there's the Kurdistan uprising, which is probably going to be over in a couple of months. Should probably upgrade the artillery. Which we're 300 days away from having enough. Fantastic. Do we have enough infantry equipment to, you know, set this up? Ten thousand short. Do you know what? Let's just do it now. I'm not gonna go be going to war for any time soon, so you know. Why not? It's going to take us 569 days, 666. Obviously, I'm hoping to develop the, uh, the economy very soon. We'll head over. I might go for the common currency just because it gives us minus 4% consumer goods. But I think we should probably go for this here. And also go, well, just do all of this middle bit right here now. Just do all of it. Civilian factories and military factories. is we'll just bring that up and then I'll set that to there. Ho Chai Min arrives in Calcutta. And there's a South African Civil War. Oh, and there's Kurdistan gone already. Russia's just cleaning up. 
Democratic Republic. Um, seriously? Russia's just going to war with everyone at this point. So the the bullshit. No, the Social Democrats are back in charge. Okay, we're not getting the uh, the Soviet Union this playthrough after all. Oh, and now Iron Guards Romania has joined in the fun. Yep, you've lost now, especially when the Ottomans aren't actually helping you. There we go. That is fantastic. Very high popularity for sure. Right, let's go over here and get some civilian factories. And you're going to go for early mobilization. Look at that, very high popularity, that's fantastic. How are the Austrians doing? Mm hmm. Hoping with the 40 combat with, I should be able to beat them. Obviously, we've still got a long way to get ready for that. Look at these civilian factories. What was that actually? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we've got the civilian. We need more civilian factories. But we also need more military factories. Dilemmas. Oh yeah, I forgot, they've, they're still here. How's America doing? Oh! Pacific States, just not a war with anyone. Well, it's the United States. Charles Curtis, terrible job. Okay. The Barity of Communes in a civil war now. So just these two fight now. Mm, fairly even. Uh, any random factions created? No. Brazil's not went. Oh, the Paternal Autocrats, okay. Oh, they're actually winning. New civilian economy. Um, oh, the Eastern Syndicalist Union. Nirmal Kumar base against him. Oh, I didn't realise that they just. Uh, the Union of Burma's here. I thought they would have annexed them. And they have the upper hand, the Algerian Revolt. Oh, and the Prince of Federation just got rid of uh, Madras. Oh, they actually went to... Oh, wow, they can do splendid isolation. Well... Isn't that great? Well, defence. Well, that's actually not too bad, actually. Just to justify war goal times plus 50%, which, you know, it isn't too bad when you've got focuses that get you to go to war. Well, they do anyways. Right, how many factories do we have now? Seven. Okay, good, 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 good. Working on our military industry. Turkestan has declared war on Alash, which is probably going to mean the end of them. What's the French up to? Nothing. Uh, what are you up to? Nothing really. Oh, the Swiss states here. Everyone betrayed the Swiss. Oh, upgrade. Yeah, we, <laughs> we need a lot more factories. Let's move the 40 combat with straight away. <coughs> right, let's get the research slot first. So I can do with a fourth one. They have a lot of divisions. I don't know if we'll be able to take them all. It's four. Worst comes to worst, we'll just call Germany in. Although the issue is, I ta I've taken off player-led peace conferences because it's, it takes away the whole joy of border gore and I can just take everything. I've just got. I've just taken it off. 
we had some fun way with the Ireland and Ethiopia playthroughs. But I'm going to do this one legitimate. Not saying that's a cheating way, but it kind of is in a way. So do you need the exercise anymore? No, you're all good. So you can stop doing that. Save some equipment that way. Mm, I feel like limited exports would be good. Oh, same guy. Oh, not bad at all. Right, let's go limited export. Actually, no. Let's stay on this now. We'll go to limited conscription, though. Well, that gave us literally zero more manpower than we actually had. As soon as uh, Baldiv is lost, uh, game over. Right, let's get confirming real god gauges. Hmm. Send two volunteers. Right. Let's send these guys over with. Probably going to be too late, like, but. Okay, that's fine. Screw you. I'll just keep my division to myself. We all go to the Mountaineers eventually at some point. We've got more. Oh, they got an X anyways. Unlucky. Oh, and the Kingdom of Spain's taking on the CNT. I got Portugal help. Alright, nice. I got French and German assistance though. Alright, mobile defence. French must have stood by them. Yeah, support the kingdom. Initiate. Oh, you idiots. Oh well, good job. Good job indeed. Well done. Yep, you idiots. Should be able to take them up fairly easy, but I doubt you'll be able to hold against France. The follower one already. Well, good job. Good job indeed, Italy. Right. Well, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. So, thank you very much for watching, and I shall be back very soon for a. Oh. Oh, what a mess over here. Anyways, I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers, bye for now.